Well, E. coli is preventing swimming at Ontario Beach Park in Monroe County. Meteorologist Liam Healy spent the day learning more about how the testing is done for this harmful bacteria and what steps are taken to try and get ahead of it. Liam. Yeah, that's right. According to the county, testing done by the Monroe County Health Department did confirm that nominally high levels of E. coli bacteria, which is normally only found in the intestines of humans and other animals, were present at the beach. The threshold that they look for is 235 MPN, or most probable number of bacteria per 100 milliliters of water. The recorded values at the East Beach for yesterday were around 1800 MPM, while at the West Beach they exceeded 4000 MPM. The beach remained closed today as well as further testing is still being done. They did provide a statement to us from Monroe County explaining how they test the water and other methods they use to try and predict these issues with E. coli. The statement read as follows. Monroe County does far more sampling, observations, and modeling than what is required due to constant changes in water conditions. Samples are collected daily at two sections of Ontario Beach swimming area. An analysis of these samples takes approximately 18 hours. So sample results for any given day are not always available until the following day. To better protect public health, predictive modeling is used to preemptively close the beach when an exceedance of water quality standards is predicted and when the predictive model indicates water quality standards will be exceeded the beach is closed and the reasoning is posted on the New York State Coastal Beach website as well as communicated to beach operators. Now the county did not give an estimated time for when the swimming areas might reopen but with Labor Day weekend coming up fast known to many as the unofficial last weekend of summer we'll keep you updated on the beach's status. Reporting from the studio Liam Healy News 8. Very